Hey guys, what is going on? It's Sven here again. So if you use Cinema 4D, you might have run into this problem in the past where when you use OpenGL, that your viewport may become slow or you might run into the problem where your viewport just goes completely black or your object, your geometry, like when you create a cube, something like that doesn't show up. Now, what is the importance of OpenGL? Well, quite frankly, put, it actually enhances the performance of your viewport so things move around a lot quicker. So that being said, what I wanted to show you today is how to fix it. Now this problem has plagued me forever and especially when I'm doing tutorials, it basically doesn't show the lines of the, the edges of the geometry or it just basically clips into the mesh and uh, you can't really see them. So that is one of the issues and I like to see my flow of topology and it's very difficult. Um, so I have actually found a fix for this. Now it has fixed it for me, now there's no guarantee that it will fix it for you. So first thing I suggest you do is update your graphics drivers. Um, I'm using a 6900 HD Radeon um, AMD graphics card with 2 gigabytes of memory so it is a pretty decent card, it's not too bad. Um, so the way to fix this is just simply go to my computer um, and you want to go into Windows and you're looking for a specific file. Now it's just at the beginning of well where the folders end so just the beginning of the, all the different other files and it's called um, ATI OGL and this is the document you need to edit so before you edit anything always make a backup so copy this with control C go back into your normal C drive and just paste it as you can see here I have the ATI OGL um, underscore backup and this is basically in case anything goes wrong and um, so far nothing has gone wrong it's perfectly fine so all is well now I'm going to use the backup simply because the other one doesn't have the files in that I'm going to show you to delete so right click um, in your windows and this is the backup so I'm just showing you because this is where the, the actual um, information is you need to delete so use control F to find and type in Cinebench C-I-N-E B E N C H Cinebench and you basically just need to delete this section so from the Cinebench up into the slash profile that section you need to delete so delete that and just make sure everything is clean that it's only got one space between the end of the slash profile to the dissolve so basically it looks like this now once you've done that you will save that I'm not going to save over my backup but what I will do is I'll go into Windows and I will show you um, that I have deleted it in here. So I'm going to open it with Notepad, Control F, Cinebench, and you cannot find Cinebench because I've deleted it. So once you've done that, you can actually open Cinema 4D and hopefully you'll be able to see the difference um, in performance once it's loaded. Now I can't tell you how happy I am that I've fixed this issue, it's been plaguing me for a very long time. Um, I didn't have this issue in R11 or 12, um, but in 13, well, yeah. So first things first, I'm going to create a cube, and there's my cube. Now I'm going to put on the line so you can see, and just look at the viewport, how smooth and fast it actually rotates around. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Edit Preferences. OpenGL and I'm going to turn off OpenGL. Now as you can see, you see the difference, how laggy it is. Now if I turn it on, see how fast it is. It is absolutely the massive increase in performance you can get and using OpenGL is so important so definitely use it because it does enhance your viewport performance especially when you have a lot of hypernerbs on. So for example, let me increase this to 5. So with OpenGL on, we're rotating around this quite fast. If I turn this off, you can see how laggy it actually becomes. Um, if we have it on, the difference is, is it's, it's astonishing how different the performance is with this on. So hopefully people who have had this issue in the past, hopefully this will fix it for you. And um, I just can't, you know, explain how happy I am that um, I found this solution. Uh, so guys, thank you for watching. If this has helped you out, make sure you share it with your friends so if they use Cinema 4D that they can fix this issue as well. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. 
I um, hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next video. Cheers guys for watching. Peace.